Hello, welcome to Renegades, renewed action against HIV AIDS and other sexually transmitted infections. This is our outreach program called HAIR, HIV AIDS Awareness Revolution. Today, we'll be talking about PID. What is PID exactly? PID or pelvic inflammatory disease is an infection of a woman's reproductive organs usually caused by some sexually transmitted diseases like chlamydia and gonorrhea. However, other non-sexually transmitted diseases and infections can also cause PID. Now, you may ask, how do I get PID. You can get PID if you have a sexually transmitted disease that is not treated, if you have multiple sex partners, if you have had PID before, if you are sexually active and 25 years or younger, if you douche, if you use an intrauterine device IUD for birth control. How do I reduce the risk of getting PID? The only way to avoid having STDs is to not to have vaginal, anal, or oral sex. To lower your chances of getting PID, be in a long-term mutually monogamous relationship with a partner who has been tested and has negative STD test results. Use latex condoms the right way every time you have sex. So, what exactly are PID symptoms? The bad news is that there are no tests for PID. A diagnosis is usually based on a combination of your medical history, physical exam, and other test results. People may have PID and have no or mild symptoms. If you do have symptoms, there may be pain in the lower abdomen, fever, an unusual vaginal discharge with bad odor, pain and or bleeding during sex, burning sensation when urinating, or bleeding between periods. Can PID be cured? You may ask. Well, the good news is that PID can be treated if detected early. However, treatment won't undo any damage that has already occurred to the reproductive system. This means that the sooner you are diagnosed and treated, the better. When treated early, the following complications can be avoided. Formation of scar tissue both outside and inside the fallopian tubes that can lead to tubal blockage, ectopic pregnancy, which means pregnancy outside of the womb, infertility, inability to get pregnant, and long-term pelvic and abdominal pain. For more information, you can go to the CDC website or Renegades website. Now that you have all the information on PID, what's the next step? Tell others you may save countless lives by doing just that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next episode.